Hey, superstars, it's your bestie Scott, and this is part two of an autograph event that I attended a few weeks ago. I showed you Greg Swindell already, and in this video, I draw and get to meet Pirates legend Jay Bell. Legend may be a little strong, but I know he's well-respected in Pittsburgh, and he's well-respected in my book because he's a heck of a guy. This was a Cleveland Indians and Guardians fan club luncheon, and he did play for Cleveland for three years, but most of his career was spent in Pittsburgh, and he spent five years in Arizona where he won a World Series, and uh, Mookie Chilson is going to remind me that he ended his career playing for the Mets, and while I'm at it, Alan Twitchell is also going to remind me that he played in Kansas City as well, so now that we've got that all covered, I should also mention that he was a two-time All-Star. He won a Gold Glove and Silver Slugger Award in 1993, and he really did compile some pretty good stats over his 18-year career. Now, you know I'm a Cleveland nut, but I really did think it was more fitting to draw him playing for the Pirates. He was one of the Pirates' killer bees, after all, with uh, Barry Bonds and Bobby Bonilla, who I'm YouTubely obligated to tell you that he's still being paid by the Mets, uh, Sid Bream and Wally Backman. And I was most excited about drawing those silly flip-up sunglasses in the eye black. I, I don't know why I was excited about that stuff. Maybe because I remember playing second base in Little League occasionally, priding myself on sticking my butt out and being in the ready position at all times while rocking those nerdy glasses too. I never wore the eye black though. Um, I mentioned in the last video that Greg Swindell pitched in the very first MLB game that I ever went to, and I still have that scorecard, and I had Greg sign that, and Jay Bell also played in that game. He went one for three with a single, so you know I'm going to ask Bell to sign the scorecard too. Autograph time. There's Jay, kind of a silver fox like me. You're welcome, my pleasure. As you can see, he got kind of a kick out of it. The uh, Q&A was fun too. He was a great guy and really seemed to enjoy his time in Cleveland. Um, these look so fun with ink on them. I can't keep everything. So this one went to Math Bowler, who I know will give it a good home. Another one in the books, thanks to the 455 Club, Greg Swindell and Jay Bell. And of course, thank you guys so much for watching. Now you can go find a better video to watch and we'll see you real soon.